everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic. It's a new comic book day, and it's also Batman Day. Um, and it was reflected quite heavily in my pull list this week. Um, a lot of Bat titles that I'll be enjoying this week. Um, I also had a bit of a splurge. I've just recently been paid. I'd done a lot of overtime in the last month, so I had some extra money at my disposal. My comic book guy had just got in three long boxes of 80s stuff, and I love the 80s. He was selling them really cheaply, so I had a quick flurry through and picked out some, some goodies, and hopefully I'm going to go back and have a proper look with my uh, little black book, with all the numbers of the comics I still need. But... And I'll show you them at the end what I eventually picked up. But for now, what did I pick up that was new that came out this week? Well, obviously, um, everyone should be grabbing themselves, if only because it's free, is the Batman number 27, Batman Detective Comics. It's free. There's a whole host of... Um, Artists and creators on here, um, Chip Kidd, Sean Murphy, Scott Snyder, Brian Hitch, Brad Meltzer, and they've got Bob Kane and Bill Finger's name on there as well, so there'll probably be some reprinted material in there, I have no doubt. Um, so, first off for the bats, uh, we come to the finale, it's Batman. Um, zero Year, Issue 33, it's an extra sized issue by the feel of it and obviously by the price because it's gone up a dollar um, but I am looking forward to the end of this final arc which for me has been the best of the three arcs of this huge year long event by um, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo um, but still after it's all done what will be next? Um, finally on the Batman trail, obviously, our weekly um, Batman Eternal, it's issue number 16 and another great Dustin Nugent cover there, loving that. Um, also from DC this week, Justice League Dark, issue 33. We should be starting a new storyline with this one, if I remember rightly, I think everything got tied up very nicely. Um, for the end of the last story arc so um, I'm looking forward to seeing who our JLD team are now because it's kind of been in, in flux for a while um, and what kind of occult, magical, supernatural tales they've got coming and heading their way. Um, it's Saga, it's another issue of Saga, issue 21, or as they like to call them, chapters. Um, saga is Saga, it sometimes surprises, sometimes disappoints at the moment, but there is no chance I'm going to give this up, because there's always still somewhere a sparkle of um, excitement and originality and fun with this book. Um, so, Saga... Another image, it's Warren Ellis' Trees, issue three. I'm really enjoying this um, new series from Image. Um, I'm loving the kind of, last week it was very kind of the scientists um, in the Arctic or the Antarctic, wherever they were, it was very, the story was very intensive on them. Um, I wonder if that will continue or we'll get a, a more um, concentrated look at um, other parts of this post-apocalyptic universe. Is it that far in the future? Um, issue number seven of the second volume of The Unwritten called Apocalypse. Living this series. Coming to an end with issue 12. That's another of my favourite um, uh, Vertigo titles ending um, in in months, mere months away, um, but yes. I also picked up two new titles. Um, I hear Tim Howlermouse banging on all the time about how good this character is, and to be honest, he's the only one that I really ever hear talking about it. Um, 
but I very rarely see, um, especially in singles, um, these issues. But Dark Horse have a full part mini out of The Goon. So I thought I'd give it a try, see what Tim has been um, going on about for all these years. It's called Occasion of Revenge. Now, whether I'm going to be totally lost because I don't know anything about the Goon history or if this will be a good place to kind of jump in and get a feel of the Goon universe. Um, I'm sure if Tim likes it and, you know, celebrates it, it'll be worth reading. Finally, I just kind of went for this. It's not really, <laughs> to be honest, it's not really my kind of book. Um, I didn't think I would pick this up um, but I have. The cover was quite intriguing. It's Star Spangled War Stories featuring the premiere of G.I. Zombie. Um, creators on that, we've got Palmiotti, Grey and Hampton, who's probably the colourist on here. Um, but I thought I'll give it a go. It's got zombies in it. I like zombies. <laughs> Let's try it. So those are my new books. If you're not interested in back issues uh, or old kind of irrelevant 80s stuff, you feel free to turn this video off now, but don't forget that I'll be reviewing all those comics I've just shown with any luck on my Friday review video upload. So, for those of you who are interested in back issues and irrelevant 80s, though saying that, the first couple of titles I have aren't that particularly irrelevant. Here we go. So, not that many to get through. But, we start with uh, a Marvel Superhero Contest of Champions Issue 1 and he had a copy of Issue 2 as well. Um, this was the first proper kind of a crossover event for all the kind of Marvel characters. This predates Secret Wars people. Um, and I hear Scott and I think Tim's mentioned it as well um, and said it's all good fun. So I'm looking forward to reading that because I never have. Um, it's pretty beat up. These, I paid little for these. I really did. And they kind of show on a few of them in the kind of state that they're in. Um, this has got quite a bit of water damage on it, but you know, it's dried out, it's all readable. But it's the second part of the crossover between the X Men and Alpha Flight. I've got the first one, never read the second one. It has that kind of wrap around cover like the first one did. So, be good to see how that <laughs> all ended. Um, filling in some gaps, um, the infinite. Infinity Gauntlet, that's issue number five. Um, a couple of Daredevils, issue 330 with uh, Gambit featured on the front. Um, issue 302, The Owl and Masked. Again, like I said, these are just filling in gaps here and there in my runs. Um, volume three of The Silver Surfer, issue 67. Um, Excalibur, great fun series that I'm getting into again. Uh, issue 10, issue 11, oh, that was all. Um, the next batch are Fantastic Fours. Uh, he had um, some kind of 80s, 90s in there. Um, the first are a couple of annuals. So we've got Fantastic Four, annual, the Evolutionary War. Quite a lot of different um, annuals at the time all came out around about the same time that had this in. I remember the Punisher was involved in this and there's someone else. It probably does say in here, um, but not the time and the place. Um, again, this is another annual. I'm not sure if I've already got this one, but it was cheap. So um, there we go. It's annual. Does it say a number? No, it doesn't, but it's from 1991. Oh, it's um, annual 24 and it's part one of the Korvac quest. Again, lots of different annuals came out at this time that involved this storyline. Then a bunch of um, Fantastic Four gaps that I needed to fit in. And again, I'm not sure. I might have a couple of these already, but 297, 298, 
364 and then finally in the batch I found some marble team ups um, this first one is in very bad shape the spines coming away there's tears and rips but it's quite an early one uh, marble team up spider-man and Thor so thought I'd pick that up but like I say you can see down the sides it's all tattered but it was very cheap so I wasn't going to complain. Um, Spider-Man and Devil Slayer number 111. Uh, Spider-Man and the Man-Thing. Had to pick up it when I saw the Man-Thing. Um, special Christmas issue of Spider-Man and the Watcher. Then we move on from Spider-Man to The Thing. Um, the Thing confronts the power of Sasquatch. Um, oh, these have got, this has still got a price tag on unfortunately, but okay. It's The Thing and The Living Mummy. Uh, and finally, The Thing and Rom. So yeah. I said there's three long boxes full of 80s and the likelihood is I will go back and, and get me some more of that. Um, so yes, that's it. Spent quite a lot of money that I didn't expect to at the comic book shop today. But, you know, you can't take it with you. Um, thank you all for watching. If you got this far, check out my video on Friday where I'll be reviewing the new books. If you're new here, please Give me a subscribe if you like what you saw and then you don't get to miss any future videos. Give this video a big thumbs up and in the comment section below why don't you tell me what you picked up. Did you get your free copy of Batman Detective Issue 27? Um, and did I miss out on anything this week? Let me know in the comment section down below. Till then, 